Hey Siddharth, can you solve this question? It looks like a biology question, so I guess not. It seems that it's a biology question. It was actually asked in biology part, but actually it requires quite a lot of knowledge of physics, as you what? can see from this physics table. Physics inside bio? Yes, exactly. How so? How can I use physics to solve something like a phagocytosis? I guess I don't know what this is. No, it's not a simple question of phagocytosis. They are actually asking about receptor <coughs> and some kind of binding with any protein type of thing. So it actually requires quite a lot of knowledge of physics. This looks like a tough question even for physics section. Yeah, sure. And sure. there are so many questions like this that are usually asked in one of the section but requires the knowledge of the other one also. And to address this, we have our friend Soumya who is going to address the issue. Absolutely. Hello everyone. This is exactly the reason we needed all of your favorite mentors in one frame so that all your questions can be answered very nicely right so what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna bombard questions after questions that you that you have always been asking to your favorite mentors namely Pad bhaiya from chemistry who is from it jodhpur akash bhaiya the legend himself from nizer bhubaneswar siddharth bhaiya the ghost from iser tvm and shreyam bhaiya okay from cmi so all of these mentors are going to answer your questions so stay tuned till the end of the video you are going to learn a lot of things right So my first question is to Pat Bhaiya who is the chemistry mentor. So sir, is it possible to qualify IAT which is now in less than 60 days? That depends. That truly depends on the type of guidance that you are going to get in these 60 days and the strategy that you are going to follow. For okay, chemistry nice. especially. Nice. So for chemistry, but of course it's possible, right? Yeah. Yes. Now sir, what do you think about biology? Yes, it's possible, but it depends on how motivated, how much motivated that student is and what is the, the intent of that student. Of course, thank you very much. Now, turning to physics. It is of course possible, provided the student has studied for the previous one year also. And the answer maths? is yes. There are a lot of variables because I'm a maths mentor. I'll say there are a lot of variables involved, the effort that you put in, the way you're preparing and so on and so forth. But if you're just looking for the answer, it is possible. Yes, of course. So now, since we know that it is possible, now we are going to ask how is it possible and what do you need to do in these 60 days or less to qualify IIT and get into your favoritizers, right? So now turning to again to Pat Bhaiya for chemistry advice. Now, sir, can you specify some important topics from chemistry in, in a few seconds? Yeah, sure. If, if you want to qualify IIT or NES, then you need to dif you need to master the difficult part that is organic chemistry. If you somehow manage to do that, you will already be beating so many students because most of the students tend to leave organic chemistry. And then there are a few topics, for example, chemical bonding, coordination chemistry from inorganic chemistry. And from physical chemistry, you can go with chemical kinetics, electrochemistry and thermodynamics. That will be all and please make sure that you complete the entire organic because it is not something that you can do part wise so yeah that's how you can have a possibility to crack iat in just less than 60 days absolutely thank you very much now sir what do you think about biology yes so if you see the pyq and the trends you will be able to get some idea about the important chapters like genetics molecular biology biotechnology applications of biotechnology ecology and biomolecules these are some of the important topics from which questions are asked every year in iit as well as nest awesome awesome and now turning to physics in what do you physics, think physics the units of mechanics thermodynamics and optics are very very important you should be 100% sure that these three units are very very strong for you because many questions will be asked multiple questions will be asked from each of the units please don't have any weakness in these three units of mechanics optics and thermodynamics awesome now sir what do you think about maths when it comes to maths we can divide it into different modules so something i would recommend is if you are talking about algebra mostly every topic in algebra is very straightforward you only have to learn a few formulas as long as you practice a lot of questions it becomes very easy to score in these topics calculus we all know is a difficult part but even inside calculus a few chapters like application of derivatives simple functions is easy to do it given that you only have 60 days to do them right so you have to focus on these topics study them hard do a lot of questions and it'll become very easy for you 
Wow, wow, wow. So now we also know what are the topics you should be studying in order to qualify IAT, right? Now, since the mentors have said that it's possible, now it's important to check how many marks are you able to score with these topics, right? So let's see one by one again. Now, Art Bhaiya, if I can study all the topics that you have mentioned, how many marks around should I be able to get? See, if you try to, if you manage to solve all the questions correctly without any negative marking from and you have studied all these topics that I mentioned earlier, then you will be easily going to score like definitely 35 to 40 marks just with these topics. And it is very, very less as compared to the total bunch of syllabus. So if you have prepared already in the past year, something that you have studied that will also add up to these 35, 40 marks. And ultimately, I guess that. Uh, when the marks goes above 40, your chances of selection uh, reaches to a level that you are going to get into Isers. Absolutely, right. 40 is huge. Now sir, can you shed some light on bio? So I guess if you are able to do these chapters, then surely you will be able to get around 6 to 7 questions from these topics. With some sub to around 4, right. if you multiply it by 4, right. it comes out to be 20 to 30 right. marks. Right. 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 And if you add evolution chapter also, then you will surely get one or two questions from that chapter also awesome but but it differentiates as we move from iat to nest so in nest of course these chapters have a very high weightage so in nest they will be very beneficial for you as compared to iat because in iat there are some questions that are very factual that are asked in the exam so in for iat point of view <coughs> these chapters are of moderate importance so six seven questions but in if we consider nest then of course 10 questions you will surely get from these topics. Wow, isn't it awesome guys, isn't it awesome? So, so far we have around 35 to 40 marks, yep. right? And around 30 marks in biology, which gets you more than 70 to 75 marks. And we still have physics and mathematics left, right? So turning to physics for Siddharth Bia. I would say on a good day, the three topics that I mean, three units that I mentioned, should cover at least 10 questions. That is half of the paper itself, half of the paper can be set from these three units on a good day and on the worst case scenario there will be at least six or seven questions very worst case scenario five questions from these three topics so 20 to 40 lower limit upper limit you can expect yeah. from these three topics. so average if you can take 30 marks now you have around 100 to 110 marks right we still have maths left yeah what yeah. do you have so like i said i only talked about two top modules like algebra and calculus and i'm pretty sure if you cover these two topics that should take care of 50% of your papers. So again, that's like 10 questions out of 20 or like what, 8 or 9 questions out of 15 questions. So that's good enough for you. And the best part about these modules are these are topics where you won't take a lot of time to solve the questions. So even if you solve these questions quickly and if you have some difficult topics left, you have time to actually try those questions. So that's a huge deal in a time constant exam. Of course. But can you give a range since you are giving it to students? How but many marks? Again, wait, 30 to 35 marks easily. Okay, awesome. And you have extra time left at the end, which is something that's very important for you guys. Perfect, perfect. So that you can go through the paper again, then see some questions if they are left. So that gives you around how much? 140? More than 130 to 140 marks, which is enough to fetch you a, a good Iser, right? Iser TVM, Iser Bhopal and so on. People have also gone to Iser Mohali with this much mark. Isn't it awesome guys, right? So mention your favorite Izer in the comment section. Now all the mentors have demonstrated that it's possible to get a good Izer with a good preparation strategy and chapters in less than 60 days. Now I can also ask about people who don't have either maths or bio from Akash Bhaiya. So if somebody is from PCM background, what topics can they study? Actually, uh, it's just a distinction. I don't feel that there is anything which, which we can say that he is a PCM student or a PCB student. Hai na? So I think that 60 days are more than enough to cover at least half of the syllabus hmm. or at least most important chapters of biology. Wow. Hai na? So all the chapters that I have mentioned, if those students which have a PCM background or who haven't studied biology since their 10th standard, if they are able to do those chapters and solve all the important questions and PYQs from those chapters, then certainly they are going to get eight or nine questions correct in the wow. exam. Amazing, amazing. Thank that you very much for this insight. That is too huge, na? eight, nine questions. Absolutely. Eight, nine this questions. is no less than being a student from bio background doing questions, right? Mm -hmm. So, yeah, actually it is uh, 
a point to note here that PCM student has an extra edge over PCB students because biology I feel that it is comparatively more scoring as compared to maths because maths requires lots of uh, practice accuracy, and, uh, right, accuracy right. and practice also and in this less time that much amount of practice I think is very hard to achieve but in case of biology they can certainly score marks if they have a right intent and they do hard work in these 60 days. Absolutely. Thank you very much for this wonderful insight. Now, can we turn to Shreyam Bhaiya for maths? So yeah. somebody is from PCB, yeah. what topics can they study? So, uh, first of all, you have to figure out where exactly you stand, okay? How much your concepts are clear and so on and so forth, right? And after that, you see, Compared to the other subjects, I feel math is something where it's less concept conceptual and it's more application based, right? So as long as you understand a topic properly, you remember a couple of formulas. The only thing that you need to study is like, how do we apply those concepts to solve questions, right? So your entire focus is going to be on solving questions. So a few chapters, for example, like sets, relations and functions. It could be basic trigonometry, quadratic equation, sequence series. These chapters barely have five to six formulas overall right so you have one chapter when you only have to study five formulas right so once you study these formulas and you practice right 30 40 questions from that chapter that should be more than enough to like ensure that you are able to solve every question from that chapter when it comes in the exam right so that will lead to like 10 questions easily so that's like 50 percent of the paper so you should be good wow 50 percent of the paper guys. right exactly yeah it doesn't matter whether you're a bio student or a math student like for a bio student as long as you remember a few formulas look at all the possible applications and you remember them it's not a big deal you'll be able to solve the questions in the exam right and this is about iat this is about iat yeah which is a dream of so many students so many students yeah right oh. so and you can simply achieve it if you have the right strategy and follow the right set of chapters mentioned right. by Sri and all those mentors right now one more question if i want to ask this is the last question guys the time is precious right so what is the biggest mistake that students do while practicing and rev uh, revision for chemistry the first mistake is that they try to neglect or they are afraid of organic chemistry. That is the most beautiful portion of the chemistry that can take you to the heights in the ISER aptitude test or uh, whatsoever nest or any competitive exam for that matter. And one more thing that I wanted to add on. See your rank will probably not only improve if you try to solve all the questions correctly but it will improve also if you try to avoid the questions that you will do incorrect otherwise because your negative marking will basically you know shook your rank so down that it will not have a you know any kind of a repairing later later on you will only regret it so make sure that you have a balance that which question you want to attempt or which you want to leave you should have a very clear cut choice in that especially in nest exam because the approach of iit exam is like that you have to solve all the questions you have to try to attempt maximum questions you have to get to the as close to the uh, max marks but in nest all you want to do is you want to solve only few questions correctly avoiding the unnecessary mistakes and negative marking that will definitely um, will be able to i guess he knows better than us because he has already qualified nest exam so what is your take on this opinion that nest exam is probably like that you have to avoid necessary unnecessary mistakes so uh of course, thanks for the candid question, but yeah, I prepared for NTSC, KVP, all those exams, so I think that helped. So I had that background sort of a thing. Uh, but yeah, if somebody doesn't have that background, then the advices that your mentors are giving would be definitely very helpful for you. Now, if we can turn to Akash Priya, that what is the biggest mistake or set of mistakes that people do in biology? So I feel that uh, the biggest mistake that students make during their preparation is that they get so afraid of making mistakes. Enough. So, like initially, any person who is studying any chapter, right? initially they are going to face difficulties to solve those questions. Right? So, initially they get some setbacks. So, like if they are atten attempting some mock, their marks will be, of course, less initially. But they get afraid from that thing and they stop uh, doing questions or studying. It's basically demotivation. So I always try to give this lesson to students that don't be afraid of making mistakes. Make as much as much mistakes as they can before the exam so that the chances of making mistakes during the exam becomes very less. So this is my point here. 
while sounding cryptic this is very apt and very accurate insight given by akash bhaiya which you definitely should follow right now the same question if i can ask to siddharth bhaiya for physics the biggest mistake that you can make then this is a make or break mistake that is only studying important topics if you only do a select few topics let's say 10 topics or 10 chapters that you have read somewhere that very, these are very important for the exam or someone has told you that these 10 topics are very important and you only do them that is a sure shot way to fail the exam 100% because especially in physics most of the questions are not from a single chapter most questions will have topics from different chapters let's say mechanics thermodynamics so if you decide to only do important topics but it turns out that in the exam questions from that important topic have some aspect from some other chapter also then that question even though you have studied very carefully is gone for you so i would say that spend at least one month thoroughly doing those topics which you are weak in and then you can focus on the strong topics absolutely thank you very much siddharth bhaiya for this it's wonderful insight now for the same thing in maths so i think one of the thing like adding on to what akash bhaiya said is that students get scared when they're not able to solve questions and this happens a lot in maths because in maths you have to solve the question to get the right answer there's no way around it right but one advice i'll give you is when you're practicing even if you can't solve questions you learn something and that is very important in the end if you solve a 100 question and assume that you're not able to solve any of those questions you st- you're still learning something from those 100 questions and those 100 solutions are going to teach you something new and there is a chance that on the day of the exam you do that 101st problem right so that's the first advice second is just don't look at the question and just get scared it could be a lengthy question which has a very simple solution this happens a lot in maths the question could be very lengthy it would involve a lot of factors but in the end the solution might be a one liner or a two liner so don't get scared when you look at the question paper on the day of the exam and keep practicing that is the only way out okay when it comes to maths and you have this biggest advantage in maths where you can actually look at the options and get to the answer right the option elimination method this works more in maths compared to the other subjects right you can eliminate options and you can figure out what the right answer is so keep this few advices in mind and you should be awesome this is a gem of an information guys keep this in mind if you want to score good marks in pcmb right and i just wanted to let you know that we have also successfully running couple of crash courses that help you preparing for IIT and NEST and all the mentors are w- working very hard for you all to get selected in your dream research colleges. So one word I want to ask all the mentors that are the crash courses and the lectures that we are going to take or we are already taking, are they sufficient? Yes, definitely. Definitely. Yes, they are worth it. Absolutely. Definitely. And we have the results that speak, right? So guys, what are you waiting for? Go work hard, study and get into your dream research institutes. We will be very happy if we can be of very uh, any help to you, right? And this is from Team Tiastra. Can we like give them all the best? Yep, all the very all best. The best. All the best, all the best, guys. Best. All the best. Come on, you only have 60 days. Go for it.